Hello everyone, it's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone's doing wonderful on this fantastic, wonderful, amazing Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, sorry about the sarcasm. Uh, it's been one of those days. Anyway, um, I am here to bring you a uh, preview for my live sale, which will be tomorrow evening, which is Thursday, uh, the 22nd. It'll be at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have not yet registered and you would like to participate in tomorrow's fun shenanigans, I just need you to shoot me an email and I just need to have your real name, YouTube name, email associated with your PayPal account and the country, city, and zip in which you reside. And that's it, it's pretty simple. It's usually a lot of fun. And yeah, so I'm gonna get going here. I'm just gonna show you a few things. Uh, to, what to look forward to for tomorrow. Um, I think I have some pretty fantastic pieces this week. Some um, I've been holding on to, not sure when I was going to bring them out or, you know, some are mine, some are, yeah, I don't know. Just a, as always, a little bit of everything. Um, where am I going to start? Well, I guess I can start with some of the things I've been slowly teasing people with. Um, I have this fantastic, fantastic um, signed, this is Tasco Sterling Silver, blue mirrored, glass and it's just absolutely it's a heavy substantial incredibly well made bracelet really amazing in my personal opinion um yeah i you know i have a thing for certain looks and this obviously is one <laughs> um i'm sure you all have seen me wear this and i figured it's time to bring it it's a little too big on me um and i didn't want to take off a link because come on look at that it's just too gorgeous anyway so I will be offering this as well tomorrow evening. So this is also a vintage sterling silver Tasco with the blue mirrored as well, blue mirrored glass. Um, I have a lovely Tasco necklace that matches all these lovely blue mirrored pieces. <laughs> I know, it, you know, it. I never thought I was a matchy matchy person, but evidently I like to visualize and I see it all. And I like, to, I don't know, I guess I am. Let's just put it that way, I guess I am. And as we've been saying, you know, I mean, I've had a lot of these for a while, but this is a Mexican foil opal and sterling silver. I have three different bracelets. Um, they're all different sizes for the most part and different styles um, and different years. Um, uh, so these are sterling silver. I have three different ones. I'll just grab them right now just to show you. Got these three babies here. You can see they're quite different. These are very similar. This is just smaller and a different color really lovely um and then i was fortunate enough to uh come across i'm just gonna move the camera so if you get dizzy sorry this gorgeous baby so this is all sterling silver this is a much older mexican piece um so sterling and we also have the pink fire opal glass uh cabochons in there it's just a stunning stunning necklace um yeah anyway um and because as we all know, Kirsten doesn't really wear necklaces. I love them, I appreciate them, I have them. I just don't wear them. So I figured someone's gonna have to love it and wear it, right? Well, I would hope so. Um, and I am gonna bring a little bit of some Czech glass. Um, I have this lovely brass and blue glass Czech vintage necklace. These are really nice size, large cut glass. Absolutely stunning, I love that piece. Um, with that we've got a little bit of the Arch Nouveau action and this is one of my favorite pieces I absolutely adore this is a very long this is all blue glass it is all silk knotted really just lovely and the blue of course as you all know nothing ever comes across on camera quite the way it does in person um it's a peacock blue in person so right now it's just very blue blue in person there's a lot of uh I don't know, there's like a like an emeraldy greenish tint to it, which makes it very, very peacocky in person. But the light temperature on my phone is just not capturing it, but it is gorgeous. Look at that, just long, beautiful awesomeness. Anyway, so I will have this as well available. Let's just put it back up on this bus somehow. There we go. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, it's a gorgeous day here where I am today. It's like 68 sunny with a nice breeze, like just fantastic. Like some of my favorite weather uh, this time of year where I live. Yeah, Fan perfect. Okay, anyway, um, 
So I have this. This is a much older piece. This is a brooch slash pendant. I put it on a sterling chain. This is Morpho Butterfly. The reason why I like this so much is because it's kind of haphazard. Sorry about the light, the big old rectangle, but so it's kind of haphazard the way that they had done it, um, which I think is fantastic. It's different than the normal, usually, well, the real normal ones are like the palm trees that we've all seen. Then you get the ones with like the courting couple or the mother and child and, you know, the more uh, the scenery, the rarer it is, and that kind of thing. Some are double-sided. This is not double-sided, but all the same, I think this is just incredibly cool. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece, and it's a nice large size as well. Oh, and here's the back. So, and the glass is in really lovely condition. No cracks or anything in it. Really good. It's a good, good piece. And then speaking of the Morpho butterfly, I also have a, I do have a double sided. It's not nearly as old as the other one. Um, so we have this one here. So we have this one with the, the blue. And then when you switch it around, you have a different looking beveled edge. So you literally get two looks in one necklace with this uh, butterfly wing, which in my opinion is simply beautiful. It just really is. It's no, it's not nearly as flashy as the Morpho, but there is something to be said for this gorgeous beauty here. And there is some iridescence to it. Just stunning. Yep. So we will have that here tomorrow as well. And let me think what else. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What do I have? I have just all this stuff. I just got this stuff here. Um, we do have a lovely, uh, this is an older, uh, Oh, sorry, saddle ring. Uh, this is a uh, rainbow moonstone. This is a size six and three quarters. It's a fantastic ring. <laughs> Beautiful. So we've got that one, which will be here. What else do I want to show? I don't even know. Hmm. Oh, I do have, okay. <laughs> So I bought a little bit of horse jewelry recently and like I forgot that I had, I bought this from the same person that I bought a cuff bracelet from last week. So I have this really awesome, if you love horses, uh, like a line bracelet, which really, and it's, this is thick and heavy. Um, so you'll definitely feel that it's on you, but it's incredibly well made. Um, I do not know who the maker is. I, I, I didn't even bother to look, it is sterling. Um, so we have this and I also have a little necklace that just has one of these little horsies on it. Um, Galloping, I guess. Is that what it is? Galloping horse? or I don't know. I'm, I'm not a horse rider, so I don't know all the terminology. I do apologize. But anyway, a little pendant necklace as well. Um, but I thought this was really great, um, especially if like you want a classic style. To me, this is a classic style that you just wear. You can throw some with a tennis bracelet, silver little bracelets, whatever, and just stack it all up. And it's just a cool thing to have, even if you're not into horses. I'd wear it. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. What else? Okay, so, so recently, I, well, well, I'll show that tomorrow. I don't need to show everything, right? Just a little bit of things, just little teasers. Is that all we need to do? Well, this is just way too short of a video. So let me see. Um, I guess I'll show, what do we wanna do? Okay, I'll show this piece, why not? So I was able to score, I got one of these that was super similar, I don't know, a few months ago. And um, I happened to be able to look at this. Another one. It's not the same as the other. Uh, this, oh, sorry. This is a uh, this is moonstone glass. So this is blue moonstone glass, sterling silver, and this is Danecraft. Um, and I did find one not that long ago that was similar, not the same. Um, and I was hoping that this time they would have sold me the correct size. And once again, <laughs> they did not. Um, people. Rings are really difficult, I find, to size, okay? I get that. But a wrist, like a bracelet, really shouldn't be off by this much. I mean, that's a lot, okay? So, you know, anyway, I'm not going to mention where I got it or any of that stuff because I'm not here to throw anyone or website or anything under the bridge. It is gorgeous all the same, even though, unfortunately, I can't wear it. Someone out there can wear it. This is a big, heavy, sterling chunky. I mean, this is... You know, I mean, this is an amazing bracelet and this is incredible. And But look at the difference in size. Like, this is just a big... I know it's hard to tell on video the size of things. 
sometimes people will bring like a quarter up, you know, or something. But anyway, so I will have this as well tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is pretty, I was shocked that I was able to, I never find this. Um, anyway, I was happy that I was able to find it. Um, not happy it doesn't fit, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the story of my life. Um, what else? I don't know. Just a little bit of everything. Um, I do have, it just came in. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't do this often. Um, I don't know. So, I have this really, really beautiful. Um, it's a little tiny, not teeny, they have a jewelry casket. This is in the silver tone. It is, there's some wear. It's a little dirty. It just came in. I've not done anything with it. I haven't cleaned it, nothing. The inside though is really not bad. Look at that. Now, um, there's little teeny ones. This is not a teeny one, but it's also not the bigger, you know, this is, I don't know. I'll give you the measurements tomorrow, but yeah, you can see the dust in there. I'll wipe it down. That's kind of gross. I do apologize. For sure. but anyway, but I really liked it. Um, and I was going to keep it, but I don't, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> I don't need it. Um, and I don't really have room for it in my bedroom. So, I'm going to, yeah, bring it tomorrow. But I thought it was just fantastic. Um, I don't see them a lot in the silver or silver silver plate, or whatever you want to call it. And this one is whoever that is. I can't even see it because my glasses aren't working quite well. Who is that? Does that say Prince? Can you see that? I can't even see it really. So I have no idea. I did no research. I just loved it. So that's what this one is. And I think as soon as it gets wiped down and cleaned up, it'll be in really nice condition. So we've got this really pretty thing that I will have here tomorrow. And some other little goodies, which I have to hide. I can't show you at all, right? Anyway, I know this was short and sweet, but um, I'd love to see everyone here tomorrow. Um, if you've yet not subscribed, please do um, hit the thumbs up. Click the notification bell so you do know when I actually upload videos. Um, I'm going to be trying uh, to do it more frequently. Um, but, you know, life comes first and then this, you know, just how it is. But anyway, everyone be safe out there. Let me give you lots of hugs and love. I hope to see everyone tomorrow evening. Bye.